Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch in the Leaf where I talk about all of the knitting and cross stitch that I have worked on over the past week or so. Um, this episode is a knitting episode. It is December 7th, 2020. I have so many finished objects to show you guys this episode. I swear I have none for the longest time and then I just get this massive clump of them all at once. So I have lots of finished objects for you guys. Couple new things, couple old things. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, before I jump on into that though, there are two places that you can find me on the internet. The first is on Instagram at birch.and.lily and the second is on Ravelry at Birch and Lily. So let us jump on into finished objects. The first finished object is a long time coming. This is my pair of humbug socks. It's a pattern by Ambrose Smith and I have knit these up out of Good For You Kettle Steps yarn. This colorway is just number 2540. Um, it does have a name when you look on the website but I can never remember what that is. So that is just the name on the ball band. This is very reasonably priced, but very soft and squishy yarn. It is 40% baby llama, 40% superwash merino, and 20% nylon. So I'm just going to hold up the one sock while I talk about the rest, just a little easier. Um, so I did cast on 64 stitches for this pair of socks on 2.25 millimeter needles. That is a US 1. Um, I did modify the cuff. It called for a 2x2 two two rib but with like a garter panel in place of the purl stitches and I just did a normal 2x2 two two rib. Um, then I knit the pattern for I don't know how long. I did a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and just a wedge toe. So really beautiful simple pattern. If you haven't knit socks before I think this would be a great pattern sock if you wanted to jump into that. Otherwise I think starting with a stockinette sock is always your best way to go. Just keep it easy and simple so you can figure out all the techniques that you need. But this would be great when you're ready to jump into a patterned pair of socks. So these are a gift. They're ready to go for Christmas. I'm excited about that. I'm getting close to being done Christmas gifts which is exciting. I have one more sock in my husband's pair of socks. And then I'm going to knit a worsted weight pair of socks, I think, for my dad. Um, I just need to figure out stitch counts and stuff, so those I'll maybe start up tonight. We'll see. But anyways, these socks are done, and I'm glad because I swear I've been working on them for months. Um, so it's nice to have them done and out of the way. So my next finished object you guys literally have not seen at all. I talked about casting it on last knitting episode, but... I didn't have a cast on. Um, so I actually cast this on two days ago. I finished it very fast. It was very fast to knit up. So this little thing here, this little hat, is the Tendril Hold Hat pattern. It is by Lindsay Fowler of Lost and Fond on Instagram, if you know her from there. Um, and I knit the baby size of this. So that is part of the reason why it went so fast. So I knit this up out of Barnyard Knits yarn on their 7525 base in the colorway Sweet Berries. And then there actually is a contrast color. This was just a mini from, I believe the 2018 Woolberry Fiber Co. Christmas Advent. Um, I can't remember, it had a name. I don't know where that bag went. Um, but it did have a name, I can't remember what it is, but doesn't matter anyways because it was an exclusive mini to that advent. Anyways, I used a 2.75 millimeter needle which is a US 2 for the whole hat um, and like I said I did the baby size. I just love these stitches. I don't know, I can't remember what they call them in the pattern um, but they're so unique and so cool. It was so much fun to knit them up. And then if you can notice, this contrast color, you can see it through all of the eyelets and those stitches, which is really cool. So it is double lined here so that you don't get the air coming through all of those eyelets. And yeah, cute little baby hat. 
And if you remember, I was knitting this up in the same colorway that I am knitting up my flax light sweater that I'm knitting for my niece, or was knitting for my niece. It's finished as well. Um, so I might as well grab that to show you. So yeah, they match. It's a little set, which is kind of fun. I'm so excited that I had enough yarn to knit both of these up. I'm pretty impressed. And I still have extra yarn, so I may make a pom-pom for this. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me know what you think. Do you think this hat could use a pom-pom? I'm not sure. My husband thinks so, but he just loves pom-poms on everything, so let me know what you think. But anyways, I have here my finished flex light sweater. So, let's see. I knit actually the toddler size for this. I wanted it to be big because I wanted her to be able to get a couple years of use out of this, hopefully. Um, and it's pretty easy to roll up sleeves. So I knit the toddler size for this. I did use, did I use the call for needles? No, I think I changed it up. So I did use a three millimeter needle for the ribbing. That's a US 2.5. And then for the body, I used a 3.75 millimeter needle, which is a five. Um, I think I went down for the ribbing needle is what I did. But anyways, um, yeah, I cast on the amount of stitches for the toddler size, knit, 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 um, put the sleeves on and I don't know, it's not very complicated. It's a free pattern, which is wonderful. Um, if you wanted to do a first sweater, apparently this is a podcast of first knitting projects this time around, but this would be a wonderful first sweater to knit one for yourself or as a gift for a baby. It comes with sizes all the way from baby. I can't remember how large it goes, but it's quite large. Um, many adult sizes. So it just has, let's see, what did I change? The pattern calls for a one by one rib. I did do a two by two rib for everything. I did have to do some decreases to have enough stitches to be able to do that. So I had to, I think for, no, the neck was fine. Um, but for the cuffs on the sleeves and the ribbing on the bottom of the sweater, I did have to decrease two stitches before I started so that it was even. Um, because the number of stitches that the pattern tells you to have is not divisible by four, which you need for a two by two rib. So yeah, but you can't tell that at all. Um, that's the only change I made. But it has the cutest garter panel running down both of the sleeves, which makes it kind of interesting and different. Kept my attention definitely a little bit more. And obviously because it's a baby size, knitting the body went so fast. Honestly, usually I hate knitting the sleeves because they seem boring, but the body was more boring on this than the sleeves because of these garter panels running down the sides. So yeah, this is knit up out of the same yarn as the hat I just showed you, which is Sweet Berries from Barnyard Knits, a 7525. Um, if you don't know what that means, I guess then it should explain for someone who wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Um, usually the first number is the amount of merino in it, be it superwash merino or non-superwash merino. I basically work mostly with just superwash merino, especially for gifts, um, just because it's safe to put in the washing machine. I still tell um, the recipients not to put it in the dryer just to be safe but it's okay to put it on a cold cycle in the washing machine. So I usually use mostly superwash merino. So the first number at the 75 is that. The second number is whatever it contains. Usually if it's a sock yarn, it would be nylon. Um, that is this case. So it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Um, I'll try to be better at saying all of that. I'll try. Uh, <laughs> I know if it was me and I was starting out, I would be so confused. Um, but anyways, flax light sweater, really, really loved knitting this up. And I loved, like I said, that I had enough yarn to do a little hat to go with it as well. So my niece is going to be wrapped in knits this winter. I am excited to give these to her. So that is all that I have finished for this episode, but I do have some works in progress. Let's jump first into 
probably my favorite part of December. It is my Cozy Knitter Advent Sock. Let me show you that. So this bag is from Jibby Roo Sews. Um, I've been pulling out all my Christmas bags. Anyways, this yarn, basically how it works is it is a 24 stripe self-striping yarn. Most people, when they knit it up, will knit a stripe a day all the way up till Christmas so that they have a pair of socks for Christmas. I want to get these done a little bit early just because I know I'll be traveling and I won't be able to work on them as much. So I am knitting two stripes a day. Um, that also makes it so that I can have a longer leg than what this yarn would give me stripe wise if I just did one stripe a day basically. Um, let me actually grab the last two years advent colors. So like the name of the yarn would explain this is dyed up from the Cozy Knitter um, and they've been doing it for the past this is a third year so the past three years. Um, so I have knit it every year which has been so much fun. Um, this here was the very first one that came out. This was 2018's colorway. And then this was last year's. Super fun. You can notice actually the stripes got wider last year. Um, so before, I think both years, yeah, these are a little bit longer obviously, but both years I did knit more than just the 24 so that I could get a sock length that I wanted. And then, I'll just hold up one at the moment so you can see the difference. This is where I am with this year's. So super fun. It's a surprise until December 1st what these stripes are. You know nothing until you open up the package. So it's been really neat to do this every year. And my goal is always to have the pair of socks finished in time for me to wear them Christmas morning. So I haven't decided what I want to do for a heel on these yet. I'm assuming while I like how a heel flap and gusset fits me better with this, I usually just find it easier to do an afterthought heel. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, the first year I did a fish lips kiss heel. The second year, looking down at them, I did a afterthought heel. So I think I'll do an afterthought heel on this again. I just need to pick myself a contrast color to do that in. Um, so yeah. I have been knitting two stripes a day for the past seven days. I have finished today's two stripes um, and I think I might be able to put in... No, I'm not going to put the heel in yet. I'm going to keep going. Um, usually when I do an afterthought heel, I actually don't put it in at the very end of the sock. I put it in early so that I can still try the sock on and figure out the perfect fit. So it's not a true afterthought heel, I guess. Um, I just prefer it that way because I have a really hard time measuring to figure out the right spot to put the heel in otherwise. Um, but yeah, these are my Advent 2020 socks. Um, and I do have this adorable elf uh, uh, progress keeper on here. This is from Random Fandom. This was last year that she made it. I don't know if she's going to make them again this year, but I love it so much. Um, so yeah, that puts me... 14 stripes in so I have 10 more before it repeats again um, both of these skeins it is split into two separate skeins that's the way it's given to you um, and both of them have two repeats of the stripes I think so I don't know if she has any more of these for sale since it's obviously past December 1st but if you're interested in this I would keep your eye out on her Instagram because she always starts selling the skeins very very early like I think maybe July this year was when she started putting them up for pre-order um but it's been really fun and I just love knitting the stockinette sock and getting surprised by all the colors and it's been really fun good tradition I like it and I will keep it up so the next thing that I've been working on a lot is my never-ending husband socks um this bag is from the Birch Grove and this cute pin is from the Crafting Treehouse I am knitting my husband a pair of socks out of Eat Knit Dye yarn. The colorway is named based off of the office. It's called Assistant to the Regional Manager. And I finished one sock, which is insane. Um, so that is where I was last time where that taco is. And I finished one sock, which is amazing. 
Um, I do have, I put these stitch markers here to mark every 10th row so that I don't have to count later. I can just count every stitch marker and know how long I made the first sock. So that's what those are. But this is the first sock. It's literally the size of my head. He has size 12 feet. Um, so the fact that I have one done already is pretty impressive to me. Um, I cast on 64 stitches for these socks, 2.25 millimeter needles. I did a slip, did I say 68 stitches? I hope I said 68. I don't know, I've forgotten already. Um, slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset, and a wedge toe. So yeah, first sock is done, thank goodness. <laughs> and I have started moving on to the second sock. I don't have much more to do until I'm ready to put the heel flap in on this pair. Um, oh, maybe I am ready. Yep, I'm working on the heel flap and I didn't realize. So I am putting in the heel flap on this sock started there with the red. This sock set did come with a contrasting color. I can't remember if you got to pick or not. I ordered this yarn so long ago. I think I ordered it last Christmas and I didn't knit them until now. <laughs> so he's been requesting these for quite some time um, and he did request that they have a nice long leg and I used as much of the yarn as possible. So that is what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, heel flap is started. So just another simple pair of vanilla socks, but they've been wonderful for when we're watching Christmas movies. I can knit without having to look at them and it's just been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. And then I do have one final pair of socks that I've been working on. I believe last episode I showed you the yarn for it. Um, they're in another Christmas bag. This is from Tiny Human Knits. And... I'll just give you a peek at the yarn again. So this is the yarn I'm using. This is from Explore Knits and Fibers. This is called Aspens and Fall, and this is Ember. Um, so this yarn here has speckles of the Ember colorway throughout. It's really pretty. I love how it's working up. I love how most everything works up. <laughs> Anyways, these socks are called the Stro Strozzi? Strozzi? I don't know how to pronounce it. S-T-R-O-Z-Z-I. That is what they are. And I'm test knitting these for the New York year. Um, her name is Emma. She's on Instagram and she is amazing. Um, and I'm so lucky to be able to test these socks for her. And I'm enjoying them a lot so far. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, this is a pickle with a Santa hat. It is my Christmas pickle. Um, but they have this beautiful cable twisted stitches work just gorgeous um this is a one by one rib on the top twist the cables on both sides and i am working on the heel flap now so it has this beautiful pearl panel running down the middle which actually follows this so yeah i cast on 64 stitches for this sock i think that is the only size available um but honestly, the cables make it so snug that I think it would fit a wide range of feet. Yeah, 2.25 millimeter needle, which is a US one. The pattern does call for you to go down on the ribbing needle, but I wanted to make sure I had enough stretch. So I did use my usual 2.25 millimeter needle. And yeah, like I said, I'm testing these. I think she's hoping to release them December 20th. Is her plan so definitely if you're not following the New York year on Instagram yet be sure to check her out um, and yeah I need to get my button gear and get these finished because I have to have one sock finished in like a week and a half I think I can do that so yeah final thing that I have been working on so yeah let me know what you guys are working on are you rushing to finish Christmas projects are you close to finishing I feel like this is the first year that I've actually felt close to finishing and haven't been rushing and knitting stuff like a couple days before Christmas. So that's been nice and relaxing. Um, what are you doing? Let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, that would make my day. Um, it helps me out a lot. Liking the video also does as well. It just gets my video out there to other people who love watching knitting content, cross-stitch con content like you do. It means the world to me. Um, 
and yeah, I upload new videos every Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I don't think I announced just yet on this episode that I think next week I will still have a normal cross-stitch video and then after that I'm going to be doing more of a vlog style video for the next couple weeks of the holidays and stuff just because it's gonna be a lot harder for me to sit down and do something like this and I won't have my lights with me and all of that so I'll kind of just be recording clips of me working on stuff throughout the week and compiling them all together for you guys in a video so that I still have content for you guys for those couple weeks so hopefully that's okay with you um I think it'll be fun just to kind of see all of that so that is my plan over the Christmas holiday break so yeah thank you so much again for joining me it means so much to me and I will see you again next week bye <music>